If we zoom up on the mirror, you can see that the soldiers have coordinated this attack quite well and have signs that help the soldiers know where to go. The larger group of 120 soldiers is flanking the building from the side, and the smaller group of 41 soldiers is breaking down the entrance with the battering ram. So again, GP-160 is cleaved to form GP-120 and GP-41. Notice that the group of 41 soldiers is using a battering ram, which is allowing them to enter the building, just like GP-41 allows the virus to enter the cell. So this should help you remember that GP-41 is associated with viral fusion and entry into the host cell. You can also see that the group of 120 soldiers on the left side of the image are climbing up the ladder and pulling off a servant helper guy with the number four on his shirt. The four on his shirt should help you remember the CD4 receptor on T helper cells. So together, these ideas should help you remember that GP120 binds to CD4 receptors. If we return to this image, you can see that the env gene encodes for GP120 and GP41. GP120 is the docking glycoprotein, and GP41 is the transmembrane glycoprotein. Now we've added a red letter on the witch's dress. If we zoom up, you can see that it's the letter S. This scarlet S is our symbol for sexual transmission and should help you remember that HIV is sexually transmitted. All right, now let's talk about how the virus enters the cell. To help you remember this information, we've shown a girl being attacked by the witch's army. If we zoom up, you can see that she's holding a T-shaped flail, which is our symbol for the T cell. If you look at her shirt, it says CXCR4 which is a co-receptor on T-cells. Finally, we've intentionally made this character a sexy girl because sexy sounds like CXCR4. So putting all these ideas together should help you remember that HIV infects CD4 T-cells using the CXCR4 co-receptor.